Ever since the very beginning of your self-improvement journey, you've probably been told a million and one times that it's good to meditate, right? You've probably been told this by the monks, you've been told this by the gurus, the self-help coaches that you've seen all over YouTube. You might even have been told this by your grandmother. <laughs> She's like, why are you not meditating? It's a really good thing to do, you know? <laughs> so you've been told by everybody and their mother that meditation is a good thing. And listen, I'm here to agree. It's an absolutely phenomenal practice that will, not can, it will change your life forever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. And here's the thing. Meditation will give you everything. I said that right. It'll give you absolutely everything that you want in life. And here's why. If you're anything like me, right, you've probably encountered a couple hiccups, maybe a few problems in terms of being able to use meditation on a consistent basis to really get those results that everybody's been talking about, right? There's a few problems here and there that it just either makes it difficult to do or it makes it difficult to understand or even maybe difficult to be motivated enough to do the meditation. And when it comes to me, I found that there are two major problems with meditation and you might experience these problems too. So the first problem that I've experienced is that the benefits or the so-called benefits of meditation are either just not that enticing or they are completely wrong, right? So people have told you that, yeah, you should meditate because you'll be mindful. And for a lot of people, especially the young guys watching this video, you're like, what the hell is being mindful? It sounds like, I don't know, some kind of like Buddhist monk tradition, right? It's like, you'll be mindful. You'll be able to calm the thoughts. You'll be able to find Zen in this existence. And you're like, this sounds brilliant, bro. Like, it sounds pretty wonderful, but it's not motivating, right? It's like, bro, I want to get goals, right? <laughs> And I'm not judging you here. A lot of guys are the same. Like, I want to get goals, right? I want to make money. I want to be successful. I want to become the ultimate man and achieve all the goals that I've set for myself in this life. And if you are like that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, bro. It's kind of like all these people are telling you that your highest purpose is to seek enlightenment. Whereas most guys are just out here like, bro, I just want to be happy. <laughs> Maybe enlightenment is happy, but like if I can get through the day, crush a couple goals, maybe meet a few beautiful women, I'll be pretty happy, right? Fair enough. And the second problem that I've encountered with meditation, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that can relate to this specific problem, but maybe for a few of you out there watching this video, you've tried to meditate. You've really set the intention to give it a go, but you found that it just doesn't work for you. Sounds good, doesn't work. You know, it's like I'm sitting here, 10 minutes have gone by, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 20, and it's like, I'm really bored, <laughs> like I just don't see the point. I'm sitting here bored, I could be doing something so much more productive, let me hit the gym, let me go and I don't know, socialize. It's like, what's the point and why does it not work for me? If you somehow find yourself in one of these two camps, don't worry bro, you were exactly like I was. But luckily for you, I have, after a lot of work and a lot of dedication and a lot of seeking, I feel like I found the answers. And so I'm going to be the person that I wish I had when I had these problems. I'm gonna be the person that tells you exactly why you should meditate. And hopefully this might motivate you into a more consistent and daily meditation practice that could transform your life. Here is the real benefit of daily meditation practice. The real reason that you should meditate every single day of your life until the end of your days is because meditation will give you everything that you want in this life. Everything that I mentioned on the list a few minutes ago, things like getting girls, you'll be able to get the successful life, the happiness, the achievement, the peace, everything that you could want, meditation will give to you. But, and here's the but of the video, it's not going to give it to you in the way that you might think. When you begin to start getting into meditation, a lot of people fall into this false trap and think that when you meditate, you are essentially stopping thinking, right? A lot of people hear meditation and they think, okay, cool, I'm gonna silence my mind, I'm gonna not have a single thought in my head. But for anybody that's tried meditation for long enough, maybe you're even just starting, you've realized that those bloody thoughts, they're little buggers, like it's so difficult to get rid of them and it's so, it's actually impossible. Like I'm not even gonna sit here and say it's hard. It is impossible to get rid of the thoughts and the emotions that you experience in your mind and in your heart. It's impossible. If you wanna sit there and be a smart ass and argue with me right now, don't think of a pink elephant, bro. Like whatever you do, do not think of a pink elephant wearing a tutu, juggling, I don't know, 
coconuts, right? You failed because you can't control the thoughts that go in your head. You might have the most bizarre thoughts out of the blue and you just can't control that, right? And a lot of people think that, okay, cool, I'll start meditating and then all of these horrible thoughts that I have on a daily basis, meditation will allow me to completely forget about it. You know, it'll just be like the off switch that I've been searching for my entire life and I won't have to worry about thinking anymore. Sounds nice, but unfortunately, it just ain't realistic, bro. You can't handle the truth. Meditation does not allow you to stop the thinking. It doesn't allow you to stop feeling emotion. What it does do, however, is that it puts you in the driver's seat of your own mind so that you are able to take a step back and witness the thoughts, witness the emotions, see them from an objective point of view, be able to see them for what they are, purely thoughts and emotions. And when I say see them for what they really are, I mean that you realize for the first time maybe in your entire life is that the thoughts that you think on a daily basis are not real. The emotions that you feel as horrible and shitty as they may feel, maybe they feel amazing, but it doesn't matter. Whatever that emotion makes you feel inside, it could make you feel like the whole world is crumbling down. But what meditation makes you realize is that these thoughts and these emotions are nothing but phantoms living inside your own head and your own heart. And when you make this realization, possibly for the first time in your entire existence, you finally realize that, holy shit, my thoughts and my feelings aren't real. And that means that they cannot control me. And that is such a powerful realization for you to have. So now you're saying to me, all right, now, cool. That sounds great and all. Like, that's pretty powerful. Thanks for the, I don't know, the philosophy lesson, I guess. <laughs> finally, inner peace. But uh, let's go back to the goals. Let's go back to the, the riches, the success, the fame, all the good stuff you spoke about earlier. Like, I still don't understand how you get that. If you're willing to be honest with me, you probably know the steps that you need to take in order to reach the dream life that you've always wanted for yourself, right? You kind of know deep down that it's not really information you need. It's more execution. It's more the discipline. It's more the, the motivation, so to speak, to be able to achieve these goals. But not only the motivation, it's also being able to say no to all of the things that are getting in your way, all of the obstacles that almost prevent you from reaching the dream life that you've always envisioned for yourself. The reason you don't do this is because you cannot step back from the thoughts and the feelings that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. You cannot feel hungry. You cannot feel that desire for, let's say, I don't know, for me, it's McDonald's, right? You cannot feel that natural inclination to be like, I really feel like fast food right now. I really want to binge eat this and drink cool drink and, and chill the whole day. I really don't feel like going to the gym. I just want to relax, right? You feel that emotion. And what does a non-meditated do, right? They get the feeling and they go to themselves or they say to themselves, okay, I feel that way. So therefore, I shouldn't do it, right? If I don't feel like it, if I feel bad, if I feel emotional, I shouldn't do the thing that I wanna do. I'll just do it tomorrow. That is exactly the reason you are not achieving your goals. It is not because you logically know what to do. It is because you are unable to separate yourself, your real, true, powerful self from the thoughts and the feelings that are literally hindering you and preventing you from achieving all of your dreams. <laughs> You don't realize that that stupid voice in your head is not your true self. It's just an whole phantom that is literally ruining all of your chance to get to where you want to go, right? Instead of just saying, ah, oh, I'm having the thought right now that I don't feel like doing this. Oh, well, let me go do it anyways, because I know deep down that that's my goal. That is what I have to achieve. You see how beautiful this process is? It literally allows you to take that really important step aside, that step back, so that you can observe your feelings, your thoughts with a neutral perspective. And this is exactly how you will be able to get everything and anything you want in your life. Let's say you meet a beautiful girl and you're in love with her. You feel all these hormones and these emotions, right? It's, it's totally normal, but you feel like this girl is your everything. You feel like she's your soulmate. You feel like she completes you and that you need to do everything in your power to get this girl into your life, right? Because why? The thoughts and the feelings are telling you this. They're like, yeah, bro, you need to get this goal. She feels good. It feels right. You think that she's amazing. You think she's perfect. So let's go for it. Like, what are you waiting for? And then you realize that, oh, wow, hold on. I'm having a thought again. I'm having a thought that this girl is, is perfect, that she, there's nothing wrong with her. She's this perfect little angel without a single flaw in her personality or on her body, right? She's perfect in every single way. And I feel as though I need to be with this woman because if I'm not, I'm never going to be happy. 
But when you meditate and you're able to sit there and f see that thought, step back from it, step back from that feeling, you might just realize that, wait a minute, this girl might not be that good for me. Maybe we're not compatible in this way or that way. You need to be able to step back and observe the experience that you're having in order to make the right decision. Meditation will give you everything you want in life because it puts you in the driver's seat of your own power. If you take away anything from this video, let it be this, right? Everything in your life, absolutely everything, starts in the mind. All your happiness, all your success, all of your sorrow and your pain and your suffering, it starts with mental health. If you do not have good, solid mental health, everything in your life will be an uphill battle, right? Because it all starts in the mind. It's as simple as that. If you do not have a healthy relationship with yourself, a healthy relationship with your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings, if you are not mindful in your everyday life, you are going to suffer. And it's going to, it's literally going to be seen and probably can already be seen in all of the external circumstances of your life. Because the sad truth for most non-meditators, right, is that they essentially blame every external problem in their life as though that's the problem. So they look outside of themselves and they say, that thing isn't the way I want it to be. This situation is making me suffer. It's making me sad. This person is driving me up the wall. If only this person would change, right? If only this thing would just be something else, then I could be happy. But the problem with that line of thinking is that even if everything in your life was to be perfect, everything had to just solve itself, I can guarantee you, I can promise you right now that you would still be unhappy. Why? Because it all starts up here. If you're not happy here and here first, it all starts with, and you've heard this cheesy, love yourself before you can love anybody else. And I'm here to tell you that it's cheesy, but it's so damn true. If you are not happy inside of yourself, if you do not have quality, peaceful, calm mental health, you will always suffer yourself, essentially, right? It's sad, but it's so true. And so in order to get everything else in your life correct, in order to start to see your life improve, start to see yourself achieve the goals and become the person that you always knew you were meant to be, you need to start with your mental health. And the best way to do this, at least in my opinion, is to become more mindful. And how do you become more mindful? How do you step away from the thoughts, the feelings? How do you become the master of your own fate? It is through meditation. Simple as that. Maybe you've just kind of gotten started or maybe you've been meditating for a while, but it just doesn't feel like it's working. Or maybe you kind of have this thought in the back of your mind that maybe I'm not doing that right. And that's perfectly normal. A lot of us start wondering if we're doing it the right way. But I've got some good news for you, right? I have almost discovered a brand new way of meditating. And I've been using it for the past year now and it's honestly changing my life. I feel like I've really found a process that works incredibly well for me. It makes me super calm, happy, peaceful, and it just allows me to focus really intently on the meditation at hand. If that's something that you're interested in, I provide the lesson right over there, completely free. You can watch that video next, and it teaches you my almost new discovery on how to meditate with clarity, focus, and calm. So if you wanna check that out, right over there. But until next time, stay mindful, and you will live an incredible life.